Welcome back everybody to another video. My name is Fabio. So I've been experimenting again and I created another rig for you guys to use and download. This one is modeled after uh, the character Link from Legend of Zelda, a very very popular series. And I really wanted to explore what he would look like if he was in sort of an, a cartoon animated show. So all his, of the details are simplified. He looks very cartoony. I used his new, the newest version of him. I did some research. I kind of didn't want to do the hat and the green, you know? I kind of wanted something fresh, something new. And I'm actually very happy with how it turned out. So let's dive into this rig so you guys know how to use it and you can start animating right away. Okay, so let's jump into the node view. Pretty much it's the same as the Stickman rig if you saw that. Everything's labeled, ears, eyes, nose, mouth, skull and hair, arms, torso, pelvis, legs. Everything's labeled in these giant backdrops so you kind of know where each part is. Disclaimer, like most of my rigs I kind of get a little lazy with the naming so inside these backdrops the names may not be the most intuitive but you probably won't really need to go inside these nodes at all because there's a few master controllers that you're going to be using. And we can find those right down here in this pink box. This is where you're going to be doing most of your animating, where you're going to be spending most of your time in this rig. You have a head controller that moves the head. We have a pupil controller that moves the eyes. We have a full body controller, which bends his knees, straightens his legs, things like that. And then we have an upper body controller, which just bends the torso, right? It doesn't bend the belt, so you're going to have to bend the belt manually, but it just bends his upper body up and down like this. If you want to show these controllers, you go to the node view, click on the controller, and then click on this orange thing to show, or this gray thing to hide. So if I want them back, head controller, orange, and then the rig should pop up in place. And so if you want to move these rigs, I have this handle that moves all of them around. And this handle will be like guided so you won't see it in the final render. And last thing, um, let's just look at the timeline. So from frame 1 all the way to frame 120, I gave some space so you can animate there. And then towards the end of the timeline, all these are extra poses, right? These are poses that I use to feed into the master controller. So you don't really need these poses, but again, just don't delete them. Just leave them at the end of the timeline. So that's it guys. This rig is definitely not very complicated. Uh, there's no back view, so I kept the master controllers as simple as I could. So check them out. There's links in the description to my Gumroad where you can download this. It's gonna be free for the next few months. So I want you guys to get out there, test it out, any feedback, comment below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Together we can make this rig and future rigs even better. So thanks for watching. Have fun experimenting with this guy and I'll see everybody in the next video. Happy animating.